And I love these old cottonwood trees. I hope they keep planting them. So I'm out here in the park today uh, just because I want to do some direct observation painting. And mainly I want to show you the setup I got in my car. Um, so you can set up something similar to it uh, yourself and just go out and observe nature. You know, go park your car somewhere, look at a tree and paint a tree, or go park your car by a gas station and paint a gas station, whatever. Um, this is just something that I do and I thought I'd share it with y'all. So here you can see I got my little makeshift. Got six, six panels ready to go. And this guy is kind of my little helper. I got this off of a, a easel, a table easel. And this was the part that went on top and it would clamp the top of your easel. But I just took the screw out of it and it works great as a bottom easel. I'll show you how I get set up here. So first things first, I gotta make sure my wheel is straight. And now what I do is just take a little bit of tape. Just normal masking tape. And I thread that through here. Come on. Just attach that like that. Pretty simple. Paintings aren't heavy, you know? And I've got a little holder for my canvas. Now you can see, got my silicoil set up right there. And one other thing that I need, let's put the windows down. If you know me, I'm a big fan of the parallel palette. So I really like using a, a palette that's parallel with what I'm painting. And this allows me to just look out there. I'm kind of focused on that, that big cottonwood tree. That's what caught my attention. Just the branches in that could be a really fun little study. So I'm just gonna be staring at that cottonwood tree and playing around with some shapes down here on my canvas. This is more like a study, it doesn't have to be a finished painting. But, yeah. Got some baby wipes to clean my brush. A couple different brushes. And then a little bit of walnut Elkid medium. And for this I just unscrew it. Put a little bit in the cap. And then I just leave it on top of my silicoil there. So I got a little bit of oil there. Got all my area to mix here. And of course my painting right in front of me. I've prepared this canvas with a little bit of uh, burnt sienna. Just a good middle tone color to begin with. I'm going to start off by mixing up a kind of a dark brown. Scrub a little bit of black here. 